Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in ASP.NET using stored procedures how to search records between two given dates, starting date and ending date, and display records into a grid view control. And here we got the output of that code search records between two given dates using stored procedures. Let's add the date. The starting date I'm giving 2017 09 20. 2017 09 20. And the ending date 2018 04 20. 2018 04 20. When I click search records button, I want to get the employer details between this date given range. Search records. And here we got the results of the employer table between the given date range. Let's check the another example. I want to start date 2000 this one. The ending date also same. When I click search button and see here we got a new record Jack between the given dates. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Right now in SQL Server Management, I have already opened a table called EMP table which contains 5 columns. EMP ID, EMP name, designation, department and joining date. Now my aim is, using store procedure, I want to get the employee details between the selected dates, the starting date and the ending date. Let's create a new store procedure. This EMP table I have created in the sample DB database. So I have to create the store procedure also in this database only. In the programmability, expand that one. Store procedures, right click that one, new store procedure. And here we got our default store procedure. I'm deleting the store procedure name and also the default parameters. I'm adding the store procedure name dbo dot get records emp is a store procedure name after that I'm adding the parameters at start date which is the date time comma at end date date time column data time after adding the properties now in the select statement I'm deleting this one I'm adding select start from the table name is dbo.emp table copy that one and paste here where the column name I'm adding joining date copy this one and paste here between at the property is the start date start date and at end date that's it let's execute this store procedure execute and here we got a message command completed successfully the store procedure get records emp is created in this store procedures folder let's refresh the store procedures folder I'm expanding the store procedures and here is the store procedure get records EMP. For this video tutorial I'm creating a new ASP.NET project go to file new project and from the web templates I'm selecting ASP.NET web application and the .NET framework I'm using 4.6.1 the application name is get records between dates store procedure click ok and from the templates I'm selecting empty click ok and the project is created successfully let's open solution explorer now in this project I'm adding one new web form page right click the project name add 
web form the web form name is search records click ok and here we got the source page of the search records.aspx page now between this form and due tag I'm adding center tag I'm adding header tag search one search records between two given dates from two using store procedure SQL cell horizontal line after the horizontal line I'm adding two text box controls one for the starting date and the second control is for the ending date one button control and one grid view control let's add the controls open toolbox come to the bottom text box this one is a start date I'm changing the text ID from text box 1 to txt start after that I'm adding end date let's copy this one to create the second text box I'm changing the ID text box 1 to txt end date after that I'm adding button control open toolbox button control I'm changing the button text property to search records adding horizontal line after the horizontal line I'm adding a grid view control open toolbox come to the bottom I'm expanding the data folder the grid view control that's it we have done the designing part in the source page we got two text box controls one button control and one grid view control now switch to the design mode double click the button control search records and here we got the button click event now first thing in this code behind I'm adding the namespaces of SQL server using system.data using system.data.sql client the last namespace I'm adding using system dot configuration. After adding these three namespaces, next I'm adding the database name in the server explorer. Open that one, right click the data connections, add connection. The server name is after adding the server name, I'm selecting the database name sample db is my user database test connection is succeeded ok ok and here the sample db database is added under data connections now we need the data source of the sample db right click the sample db go to properties In the properties and the connection string we have a data source copy that one now open solution explorer and the project the last one is a web.config file open that file now in this web.config file inside the configuration I'm adding connection strings add name is equals to my connection connection string I'm pasting the data source which I have copied for our name system dot data dot SQL client after adding the connection string in the web.config file, switch to the code behind. In the button click event, I'm writing the code string main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings. Between double quotes, I'm adding the SQL connection string name, which is my connection. Copy that one. Paste here dot connection string. SQL connection SQL con is equals to new SQL connection I'm adding main con 
SQL command, SQL com is equals to new SQL command. The SQL command takes two parameters. The first one is a command text. The command text here will be in double quotes. I'm adding the store procedure name, which is get record CMP. Copy this one. Come on. I'm adding the connection string SQL con. SQL command object dot mm, command type is equals to command type dot store procedure. Let's open the connection string SQL con dot open method. Close the connection string, close method. Now between this open and close methods, I'm adding SQL com dot parameters dot add with value. I'm passing the variables between double quotes. The parameter is the start date. At start date, copy this one. Come on. The object value, I'm adding the text box control text box start dot text SQL com dot parameters dot add with value between double quotes the second parameter is at end date copy that one paste here comma the object is a text box text end dot text property after that SQL data adapter SDA is equals to new SQL data adapter. I'm adding SQL command object data table DT is equals to new data table SDA dot fill method. I'm filling the data table object DT SQL com dot execute non query method. And after that, the last one, I'm binding the results in the grid view control. Grid view one, the data source is equals to DT, data table object, grid view one dot, data bind method. That's it. We have done the complete coding part. Let's check the results, Google Chrome. And here we got the output of that code, such records between two given dates using store procedures. Let's add the date. The starting date I'm giving 2017-09-20. And the ending date. 2018-04-20 When I click search records button, I want to get the employer details between this date given range. Search records. And here we got the results of the employer table between the given date range. Let's check the another example. I want to start date. 2000 this one the ending date also same when I click search button and see here we got a new record Jack between the given dates that's it